Consider this problem. How can we estimate 2.99 raised to the fourth power? Now we know the answer is close to 3 to the fourth power. 3 to the fourth is 81. But what's 2.99 raised to the fourth power? We know it's less than 81. But how can we get a good approximation of the answer without a calculator? Well, let's talk about it. First, we need to know what function is associated with this expression. So f of x would equal what function? All you need to do is replace 2.99 with x, and you get this function, x to the fourth power. And then you want to pick a value for x where it's very close to 2.99. So therefore, we're going to say 3. And what you need to do is write the tangent line equation at x equals 3, and then use that equation to approximate this value. So we're going to use the point-slope formula, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. We already have x1. x1 is 3. We need to calculate y1, which is going to be f of 3, which is 3 to the 4th, and so that's 81. So y1 is going to be 81. Now we need to calculate the slope, which we could find using the first derivative. So f prime of x, using the power rule, that's going to be 4x to the third power. So f prime of 3 is 4 times 3 to the third power. So 3 to the third, that's 27. And 27 times 4, well, 20 times 4 is 80. 4 times 7 is 28. 80 plus 28 is 108. So this is equal to the slope when x is 3. So now we have x1, y1, and the slope m. So let's plug it into this equation. So it's going to be y minus y1, which is equal to m times x minus x1. Now the next thing that we need to do is add 81 to both sides. So we need to take this number, move it to the other side. So it's going to be 81 plus 108 times x minus 3. We really don't need to distribute the 108, so I'm going to leave it in this form. So this is the tangent line equation at x equals 3. Now, what we're going to do is plug in this value, replace x with 2.99, and that is going to give us the approximation of this expression. So replacing x with 2.99, we have 2.99 minus 3, which is negative 0 0.01. Now, 108 times negative 0 0.01, you just got to move the decimal two units to the left. That's going to be 1.08, but negative. So what's 81 minus 1.08? So this is going to be 81 minus 1 minus 0 0.08. 81 minus 1 is 80, and... 100 minus 0.08 is 92. So 80 minus 0.08 is going to be 79.92. Because you have to take away 1 from 80. And so this is going to be the approximation. So we're saying that 2.99 to the fourth power is approximately equal to 79.92. Now let's get the exact answer using a calculator. Let's see how close we are. So the exact answer is 79.9253. So that's pretty close. Let's try this one. Estimate the square root of 9.1. So first, we need to identify the function. The function is going to be the square root of x. And now let's find the first derivative. So this is x raised to the 1 half. And that's going to be 1 half x to the negative 1 half, which we can rewrite it as 1 over 2 square root x. Now, x, 
we could say is 9, because 9 is close to 9.1. So now let's evaluate f of 9. f of 9 is going to be the square root of 9, which is 3. So if x1 is 9, y1 is 3. Now we need to calculate the slope, which is going to be f prime of 3. I mean f prime of 9. I'll take that back. So that's 1 over 2 square root 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So it's 1 over 6. So the slope, when x is 9, is 1 over 6. So once you have these three things, x1, y1, and a slope, you can now write the tangent line equation. So it's going to be y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So y1 is 3, m is 1 over 6, x1 is 9. And then let's add 3 to both sides. So it's 3 plus 1 over 6 times x minus 9. So now in this form, we can estimate the square root of 9.1. So it's going to be 3 plus 1 over 6 times 9.1 minus 9. 9.1 minus 9 is 0.1. Now what is 1 divided by 6? If you're not sure about this, you can use long division to convert the fraction into a decimal. So let's do that. So the numerator has to go on the inside. 6 goes into 1 0 times, so we need a decimal point. Let's add another 0. 6 goes into 10 1 time. 1 times 6 is 6, so 6 times 0.1 is 0.6. 1 minus 6 is 4. And then add another 0. 6 goes into 40 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. This gives us another 4. And 6 goes into 40 6 times. And then you can see that it's just going to repeat. So it's basically 1 over 6 is 0.16 repeating. So we have 3 plus 0.16 repeating times 0.1. Now whenever you multiply something by 0.1, you need to move the decimal one unit to the left. So this is going to be 3 plus 0.016 repeating. And so the estimation is going to be 3.0 one six repeating. So the square root of nine point one is approximately three point zero one six repeating. Now let's get the exact answer using a calculator. And this is going to be three point zero one six six two, which these two numbers are very close. So the tangent line approximation is very useful for estimating things like the square root of 9.1 or the other one, 2.99 raised to the fourth power. Now it's your turn. Estimate the natural log of 1.1 without a calculator. So the function is ln x. And the first derivative of ln x is going to be 1 over x. Now x1 is going to be a number close to 1.1 so the best answer to use is 1 because we know the natural log of 1. So f of 1 which is ln 1 the natural log of 1 is 0 which means y1 is 0. Now the first derivative when x is 1 that's 1 over 1 and so that is equal to the slope. So m is 1. So now that we have x1, y1, and m, we can now calculate, well, we could determine the tangent line function. So it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y1 is 0, m is 1, and x1 is 1. So basically, the tangent line approximation is x minus 1. So what we need to do is plug in 1.1. So it's going to be 1.1 minus 1, which is 0.1. So 
So therefore, we could say that the natural log of 1.1 is approximately 0.1. I mean, I put equal, but approximately. Now, let's find the real answer. So go ahead and type in ln 1.1. And this is equal to 0 0.0953. So 0 0.0953 and 0 0.1, they're pretty close. They're not too far off. I mean, we might have a 5% difference, but 0 0.095 can be rounded to 0 0.1.